If you are selling a property, selling a house, don't make this mistake that I come across frequently. And it occurred again this week. It's where somebody will come to me, a client, or they want me to act on their behalf in relation to the sale of their house. And they come and tell me, we've just gone sale agreed. Will you get the contracts out or act for us? And obviously I'm delighted to get the business, especially if it's for an existing client, but for new clients as well, no problem. The difficulty is going to arise, however, when they tell me to get contracts out because I first need to get the title documents from the lender. That's assuming there's a mortgage on the property and generally there's a mortgage on the property. There's very few properties being sold mortgage free. That means that I have to prepare a signed or an authority which has to be signed by the client. I have to send it in then to the lender. And I've got to wait a week or a fortnight before I get title documents. It's only at that point that I'm in a position to draw up contracts. Now, there's a gap there of 10 days to a fortnight, and that's assuming that my letter doesn't go astray internally in the bank or that somebody doesn't drop the ball in relation to my request. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, there's a fortnight there between the request for me to issue contracts and me getting the title documents. That is a fortnight where the purchaser could well have second thoughts. It's a fortnight where the purchaser may continue with the habit of looking at houses and may find something else. In other words, there's a needless avoidable gap between sale, going sale agreed and issuing contracts. That gap could be avoided, that delay could be avoided if I was told at the outset when my client gave instructions to the estate agent to sell the property. At that point, I could have taken up title documents and then the subsequent campaign to sell the property, which might take a month, might take six months, I would have plenty of time to get the title documents, be ready to go then when we go sale agreed, ready to issue contracts. There's no friction between sale agreed and issuing contracts. There's no delays, there's no buyer remorse, there's no wondering what's going on, and it's an entirely avoidable delay. It's an entirely avoidable situation and all it requires is that the vendor, you, if you're selling a property, let your solicitor know at the same time that you're putting it on the market with the auctioneer. Not, don't wait until you go sale agreed. Let your solicitor know when you're instructing the estate agent to put it on the market. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, I would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel.